In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your Firefly POS system related to tender types. I've clicked on configuration and tax tender cache, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on tenders. These are the different tender types that we can have in the system. Just go ahead and check the ones that you're going to accept. You also have two user-defined fields that you can use. So if you'd like to have a user-defined tender type, just go ahead and give it a label. Let's call this my uh, certain club and check it to turn it on. The online tender type is used if you're processing online orders and you're processing the credit card separately online. If you have used the option to pro have the Firefly system process the credit, then you won't need this tender type. For each tender type, you can specify a minimum and maximum amount that you allow. So for example, you might not take credit cards on transactions under $5, and you might only take checks for up to $50. It's unusual to charge a fee for a tender type, so we'll skip that. You can also specify the maximum change. So for example, credit cards don't typically allow change, and neither do checks. The rounding feature lets you round transactions up to the nearest nickel, for example, on cash transactions. This is common in some locations. Require lookup means that you have to look up a customer to use this tender type. We have that defaulted for house accounts as we want to associate a customer with the order. You might also want to do it for checks. That way you can track customers that are authorized to use checks. And then finally, whether this tender type opens the drawer or not. A few other little options we have here on the tender type screen that you might be interested in. Disabling tips will turn off all tip functionality in the system. If your restaurant doesn't accept tips, um, this is an option for you. Turn off the default tender type of cash. What this means is that when you go to tender out an order, if you don't choose a tender type, the system will allow you to pay and will assume that it's cash. If you turn this off, a tender type selection will have to be made. And finally, for gift certificates. If you're using paper gift certificates rather than electronic ones, check this box to enter a gift certificate number. Go ahead and save this screen when you're done, and you'll have your tender types configured in the system.